In this video, we will cover installing MongoDB on Windows. The steps are as follows. Download the correct version. Extract to drive C. Create the data and log folders. Create a mongo.cfg config file. You can then start Mongo from the command prompt or you can start it as a Windows service. We will also cover stopping and removing the Windows service. And finally, we will cover how to connect to MongoDB and conduct a very simple test. To download MongoDB, we go to the MongoDB website, www.mongodb.org. From there, we can go to Downloads. Notice that there are several versions. We have Windows 64-bit. We have also the 32-bit, which is for older versions of Windows. And there's also what is called the 64-bit legacy version. A helped prompt is available for each version. Notice if we hover over the question mark for the link to the 32-bit version, it gives you some more information. The same applies to the 64-bit legacy. In no case, however, is there support for XP or versions below XP. The quickest and most reliable way to find out which version you're running would be to open up a command prompt and to use the WMIC command. We go to our Start menu. Under All Programs, we type in CMD. This opens up a command prompt. We can now enter the WMIC command to find out the architecture. This particular machine is running a 64-bit version of Windows. We will go ahead and leave the command prompt open as we will need it for later steps in the installation procedure. We can now go ahead and proceed with the download. We will edit the download process to save time. Now that the download has completed, you click on the appropriate link within your browser to open up the dialog window so that you can access the downloaded file. In this case, you'll notice that the download is MongoDB Win32 X8664 2008 Plus. We can now open up the download using the appropriate archive utility. We can now extract the download to drive C. Once the extraction process has completed, it's recommended that you rename the downloaded folder to simply MongoDB. The reason for this is that the version numbers will change and it may be very difficult to remember exactly which version was downloaded. You can rename it to MongoDB so that it's easily remembered. You might also want to review the instructions for installing MongoDB on Windows. This can be found at docs dot mongodb.org slash manual slash tutorial slash install dash mongodb dash on dash windows. You'll notice, for example, that there's an issue with memory mapped files for Windows 7 and Windows 2008 release 2. There is a hotfix which is available from Microsoft which must be installed if you're running either of these versions of Windows. If after installation MongoDB does not run properly, it's quite possible that the hotfix has not been applied. Next, it's recommended that you create a folder for data and a folder for the log files. The log files can go under the MongoDB structure. For data, however, it's recommended to put it outside of the MongoDB structure. The recommended folder structure is data slash DB. The data DB structure will then reside directly off of drive C. Next, we will create a config file, and in the config file, we will identify the path to the log file. The easiest way to do this would be from the command line. From our command prompt, we issue the following command, echo space log path equal C colon backslash then the path to the MongoDB installation, which as you will recall, we renamed to MongoDB, path to the log file, which is backslash log, and the name of the log file, which is mongo.log. We then put in a space, a greater than sign, which causes this information to be placed in this file, c colon backslash mongodb backslash mongod.cfg. We could then go to our Windows Explorer to verify that the file was created. We can use Notepad to open up the file and also to make additions as necessary. We can now start the MongoDB instance from a command prompt. Alternatively, we could start it as a service. Let's first start with the command prompt. From the command prompt, 
we type in c colon backslash mongodb backslash bin backslash mongo.exe. If there are any errors, we then need to correct any errors that could appear. In order to execute the mongodb instance, we type in c colon backslash mongodb backslash bin backslash mongod. .exe. It's very important to note that at this point you cannot yet run mongo.exe. You first must run the background daemon. You will then get a help screen which will appear. It's also quite possible that you may get a message indicating that the Windows firewall could potentially interfere with the operation of MongoDB. If that is the case, you would go ahead and click on continue and quite possibly you might need to modify the firewall so that you allow access to the localhost 127.0.0.1 and the port number 27017. We can now open a new terminal window and test our connection to the MongoDB instance. In this case, we need to type in mongo.exe rather than mongod.exe. We are now connected to the test database in the mongodb shell. We will now run three simple commands to test. First of all, use the built-in database called mydb. We will then save a test document. You'll notice that there will be some activity in the background window. We could then find the test document. As you can see, it has a randomly generated object ID, a field A, and a value of 1. This concludes Part 1 of installing MongoDB on Windows. In Part 2, we will examine starting as a Windows service. We will also examine stopping and removing MongoDB as a Windows service.